weapons competition. 20-year-old Austin Jorgensen from Aurora, Colorado. He's been studying martial arts for 14 years and competing the last six. This is a very unique routine he's brought here to Orlando. You know, it's been years since we've seen drunken anything uh, performed on stage, and he's doing the drunken broadsword. The last time I think we've seen that is, is Philip Wong, Javon Holmes. I mean, those were two of the great wushu champions of the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, look at him go. It's great to see this on the stage, especially with all of the hard stylists and extreme martial artists up there these days. You know, it's really interesting to see this on stage. It, it's an emulation of what would happen in the event that you were to fight this drunk. Big Gator nice. there landing to his knee. Uh, Very nice. And being so tall to get that kind of air and have that control, you know, this is a display, a, a perfect blend of the hard and the soft together. The key is to making those transitions look smooth, which he's doing very well. Nice butterfly twist to split. He's got excellent body control given his height and the length of his limbs. Look at this. Unbelievable. Nice. Nice. Excellent display of balance. You know, no music, all style, and his martial arts skill. He's bringing this crowd up tonight. Austin Jorgensen throwing down a phenomenal way to start the men's and women's ISK Weapons Championship. A big move there showing his flexibility. This is the grand championships of them all. You know, with the men and women together, you've got names like Caitlin Deschel and Manameg, and now you've got Austin Jorgensen, Rudy Raynon, and Kalman. This was the way to start, and he set this bar really high. A phenomenal performance. Great to see a soft stylist back on stage. 